Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install rudder open source audit and configuration management utility on centos 7 now before we dive in the installation part of Rudder installation on CentOS 7, let us first of all understand some basic information about Rudder. Rudder is an open source audit and configuration management utility to help automate system configuration across large IT infrastructures. Rudder relies on lightweight local agent installed on each managed machine. Rudder is produced by Normation founded in 2010. It's a server-side web interface and is written in Scala and its local agent is written in C and are published as free software under GNU General Public License. The initial release of Rudder was done on October 31st, 2011, about six years ago, and the latest stable release is version 4.1.3, which was released on May 23, 2017, about seven months ago. It is written in Scala as server and C is acting as agent and it is fully compatible to be installed on operating systems like Unix, Microsoft Windows, Android, etc. And if we talk of types, it is a configuration management utility, system administration, network management, cloud management, continuous delivery and even DevOps. If we talk of some features, it is host inventory, feature complete, web interface, standardized, custom policy editor, central reporting and historic information for policy applied to host, grouping based on search queries run against inventory, automatic updation of search groups, dynamic generation of per host policies, change request, REST API and Git backend. So it supports all types of Linux platforms including Debian, Red Hat, SUSE, Ubuntu, even Microsoft Windows Server 2000, 2003, 2008, 2012 and even that is SUSE Linux Enterprise Server version 10, 11 and 12. So this was the basic introduction and here you can see the official website that is rudder-project.org that is open source automation and compliance and a beautiful automation utility. So you can find more information you under this under downloads, community, documentation and even support. So let's dive into the CentOS 7 and I will be telling you how to install Rudder server on CentOS 7. So let's double click on my installation file so you can see that I have made all the steps over here and all the steps will be available onto my Facebook page of Expert Researcher. The link will be in the description below. So let's start with the terminal. So before that make it sure that you are connected to the internet. So let us on this and let's check whether the net is working or not. So if config. So the IP address is working. So let's ping google.com. So it is working. So let's first of all start with Java installation. So let's grab and get wget from the Oracle version. So I will be using Oracle Java 8. So let's press enter. So it is about 181 MB of size and depending on the net connection it will not take much time. So after that what we have to do is to unzip the Java file. So let's wait for it to download. Almost 60% is done.
que so it is downloaded you can see that the file is there so let's clear this and now let us unzip so till it unzips let us uh, pause the video so now you can see that the Java is unzipped so let's move the Java to this location okay so now let us install Java with the alternatives command so let's go with this okay so now let's select this file this command and now what we have to do is to type number two so for installing JDK 1.8.0 and with this it is installed so let's check the Java version let's clear this so you can see that Java 1.8.0 underscore 151 the latest version before Java 9 is installed so now let us set up the environment variables for Java so Java is the main thing for installing the Rudder server rest everything is just a simple game so let's control C control V okay so let's copy this and press enter so everything is set up so now we are all set for rudder server deployment so let us uh, download this publication uh, this pub file okay so now let us uh, add the repository via echo command okay so now let us install the rudder server so yum install space minus y rudder hyphen server hyphen root so let's press enter okay so let's kill this command sometimes it creates problem okay now now fine so sometimes if it there so just kill it kill it and it will be working fine so some packages will be updated so it is about a 254 MB package so depending on your net connection it will not take much time So till it downloads, let us pause the video for some time. So as you can see that Rudder Server Relay and Root has been downloaded, but still about 7 packages has to be downloaded, so it will take some time. So almost we are on the last part of the download that is Rudder Web App. So we are on the verge of uh, completion of download. So after it downloads, it automatically sets, installs, cleanup and verifies as the normal procedure for CentOS 7. Okay, so transaction test has started. So it is updating about 85 packages are there, which are updates, verification, cleanup, everything will be done. So some like system MD like things will take some time so let's wait for it to complete so now it is installing and updating as well so the rudder server can take between 15 to 20 minutes depending on the net connection speed as well as the speed of your system because both things matter in that okay so it is installing okay so open LDAP like thing has been started
So let's wait for installation to get complete now. So it is installing Git now. So the database is initialized. So after that we will be just configuring the rudder server by a simple command that is slash opt rudder slash bin slash rudder init and after that some firewall rules and then we are good to go to start the rudder via the front end interface. So as you can see that uh, it's a heavy software and even the front end will also take some time to initialize. Okay, so it is done. I think so. So you can see even that slash op opt rudder bin slash init will be started. And it is even installing the JDK, the version update. So one or two main heavy things are done. So through this you can even imagine that uh, it's not a simple uh, server to just uh, move on with CentOS so it is somewhat a heavy server but a powerful server I can say so now it is installing inventory some any scripts So cleanup is there. I think so we are done almost. Okay. So verifying and complete finally. That's great. So everything goes on smooth. So now what we have to do as I have already told you regarding the command that is slash opt rudder slash bin slash init. It is there. Okay. So allow the network access so you can see that let us open the terminal and let's see the IP address of this machine so I will be taking like this okay 192.68.68.0 slash 24 okay so I had no network so I just need to add no network over there so hit any key so it is configuring and it is restarting the services so after that what we have to do we just copy this IP address and let's wait for it to restart and then we just uh, reload some of the firewalls rules let's wait for it to restart the services so make it sure that you when you allowed the networks it should be as per your IP addresses so class A B C you have to take it care So let's wait. So it is starting the jetty now. So I think so it is done. So rudder agent has started and yes you can see that rudder is concurrently loading. So let's uh, copy this. Some firewall rules so that we can allow the ports. So only five ports are there. Okay. So second last command. 
So the final command, firewall hyphen cmd space minus minus reload. So everything fucking fit and fine. So let's determine the IP address of this machine. So let's copy the IP address and make it sure that when you open it should be with HTTPS. So let's go to the host machine. Okay. Slash rudder. So you can see that your connection is not private so click on advanced and proceed to this IP address. And yes you can see that the rudder opening page is there so type the username as admin and password as admin. So let's wait for it and yes you can see that rudder is successfully installed it is working very fine and you can even list the nodes so I think so only one node is there right now so even utilities your uh, general plugins everything is working very fine so in this video I have demonstrated how to install rudder server on CentOS 7 so do give this a shot do try to implement in your live environment it's a great server to work on so do even comment that how do you like this video and whatever other videos do you want me to make on CentOS and even other topics on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel that is Gyan with Anandair and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you can be highlighted every time when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.